Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was very forgiving, extremely forgiving. And this is one of the subjects that becomes very hard for people to accept. You know, people, they don't like people to take advantage of them, right? Anyone would love to be taken advantage of? No one would love to that people take advantage of their kindness, right? So if someone being kind to somebody, and in return, these people, they, they actually they act uh, in, in a harsh or rude manner towards them. SubhanAllah, people, they lose their minds over this. So after what I've done to them, that's how they reward me? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he was very forgiving, so tolerant, sallallahu wa sallam Ma ghadiba qat li shayin li nafsi sallallahu alayhi wa He had never got upset for something that was for himself. Never. But unless something about the deen that was violated, that's when he gets upset, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he gets angry. When he came to Medina, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he needed to pay some debts for somebody. So he borrowed something, he borrowed some dates from a Jewish man in Medina. And that Jewish man actually, he, after some time, he came after the Prophet sallallahu asking for a payback. Now he wants to take advantage of Rasulullah sallallahu being a newcomer and him very well established, you know, in his Jewish tribe and so on. He came and he arrogantly grabbed the Prophet sallallahu from his collar and he grabbed him harshly and he says, Ya Muhammad, O oh Muhammad, pay me back. Innakum ya, ya, mahshar, ya, ya Bani Hashim qawmun mutl. Means you Bani Hashim, you always delay your payments. Means I'm not, you are known to be basically people who always delay payments. So Umar bin Khattab was there. And you know when Umar is there what happens. So Umar he says, Ya Rasulullah, murni faqta'u ra'asa. Let me just, give me the command, I'll finish him. <laughs> I'll chop his head. But the Prophet Sallallahu said to him, he says, Ya Umar, should have actually asked me to pay him nicely and on time and asked him to ask gently. That's it. Which means if you look at it from above, if you just take yourself out of that emotional, you know, kind of uh, uh, anger that had happened because of this, now as you listen to the story, you feel so angry. How, how dare this man do that to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he took himself above these, you know, human interaction. He took him above that. And when he looked at it, he says, you know, you, that's right. I should have paid you earlier. But you still needed, needed you know, to, to ask me in a, in a gentle way. So Umar, when he was told that, the Prophet Sallallahu said, go and pay him that much and add him 20 more, 20, like saying 20 pounds more, because you scared him. SubhanAllah, paying him extra money because you scared him. So he deserves to be rewarded, you know, just for him, him being patient with you. And when he gave this to her, to the man, he says, no, I got my money, you know, I got, I got enough. He says, no, the Prophet ﷺ says, you deserve more because I just, I scared you because of what I said. And for that reason, this man said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. The Prophet ﷺ was never sent as qadi, judge, to go and judge, you know, between people in that fashion. No, he wasn't there to judge them, but he was there to help them, to guide them, to bring them to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah Azza will judge between them on judgment day.